I was thinking how to do it this year. And indeed, I chose to do it really low budget because, uh, like I also said before to the class, when you're starting out, you have nothing. Maybe you even have only your phone. And you can start where you are right now. You do not need those fancy big things. Yes, of course, in time, when you start making money, you will improve buying better equipment and better cameras. But we are indeed today starting. And since the whites are not wall, because my studio is really small, I have white walls, light is reflecting, and that's the light I want to work with. There's a lot of different other approaches. You have studios that are painted completely in black and it's controlled in a different way. And I knew the colors here were, it were colorful walls. So I brought just simple bed sheets. So we basically built a box out of bed sheets and a black one. So you have the contrast. If you want to show something on white, I can do that. If you want to show something on black, I can do that. I can show how the light works, if it's reflecting or if it's absorbed. And that can be done Super easy, you just hang up a bed sheet and for the lighting I chose to just get with uh, those metal um, hard st hardware store lamps and yes you need a good light bulb if you want more light or you buy one for less light and you can work with that and then it's all about in portraiture about diffusing the light and that's what we're going to practice today. And it's really that simple and I on purpose also brought a really old backup camera to show them, hey, what is if that's all I have and we can make it work and that's the beauty of it. No excuses. <laughs> As a community, we can be really strong and that is partly out of my own experience when I started working for myself uh, as an architect, but more so as a photographer, because I didn't know anything about photography other than I love it. And back then I experienced there was no one really willing to teach. And that comes from a place of fear, fear of it's going to be my concurrence, fear of they're going to take away a job from me. And I have struggled with that. Also, I have been on the fear side. But when you manage to shift yourself to a place of giving and supporting, it comes back, first of all, a thousand times. But then you create a community that can work together. And that counts for photography. It counts for architecture. It counts for other professions instead of doing this and being all afraid somebody can copy what you do. I believe in everybody's unique. I believe in abundance. I believe there's enough. And if we support each other, we together rise. And I believe that is maybe t something for any kind of business. Like, what do you give back to the community? Maybe you can give a workshop in your field. So, it, But it comes down to your own belief system and to are you acting out of fear or are you acting out of Love is the opposite. And that's for me my personal challenge every day. And even if I find my back, myself back on the fear side, I'm like, hey, stop. You promised yourself to sh share, share what you know. And that's my way. And there's a thousand other ways, but that way I can share. Be open, first of all, be open to change your mind and your beliefs. Often it's not your beliefs, it's beliefs you have learned. So be open to change those and see what you truly love inside and just do it. And then be of service for the world and charge for it. It's giving and receiving in a balance. <laughs>